In every century there was a city that attracted billions of money from all over the world and flourished to unattainable heights. Babylon, Venice, Rome and many others. Today we will talk about the city that is one of the richest in the world in the 21st century, this is Dubai. But it was not always so. Even 70 years ago there was a desert here and the Bedouins rode camels. But how did it happen that these Bedouins replaced camels with Bentleys, tents with villas and skyscrapers after 70 years? We know that a lot of oil was found there. But is a lot of oil an indicator of development and wealth in the country? There is even more oil in Venezuela than in Dubai. But we see how people live there. In the Emirates Dubai, there is less oil than other Emirates. But how did it happen that Dubai is now very rich? Rashid Ibn said is the man who brought Dubai to prosperity. Rashid Ibn Said is the man who built the first airport in Dubai, the largest port in the city, which now ranks 11th in the world in terms of cargo transportation. He also opened the most important thing is free trade zones. And after that, Money rushed like a river from all over the world. Under his leadership, there was no bureaucracy in the country, there were no taxes for foreigners, there was no corruption. A lot of money was earned there and spent there. All these factors contributed to the fact that an incredible number of investors, startups, and the best minds from all over the planet moved to Dubai. Rashid IBN said gave freedom and security to investors and essentially made them a financial paradise. Oil is just a bonus that the smart leaders of this country took advantage of. Which was also involved in the mega development of this city. The Arabs understood that it was impossible to sit on oil because it would run out sooner or later. And they have invested all their money in the development of the tourism industry, technology, construction and many other areas. Now oil accounts for only 10% of the local economy. The main part is tourism and services. Let's talk about the standard of living of local people who were born in Dubai. I must say right away that it is possible to obtain citizenship of the emirate only at birth from the local population, the father and mother are citizens of the country. Even for couples from different countries, their children born in Dubai will not be considered citizens of the emirate of Dubai. A child receives $50,000 in his bank account at birth and can use it when he becomes an adult. Also free medicine and education anywhere in the world for local residents. The government covers everything. At a wedding, the state gives a villa to local residents, and if there is no money to equip it and buy furniture, then you can contact the sheikh and the sheikh will help. Also here the state monitors the income of its citizens, and if the family earns less than $19,000 a month, then the state helps to rise to this level. It is important to note that Dubai is the sports car capital. It has the largest number of expensive sports cars per capita in the world. Large and tax-free incomes of people are spent on a luxurious life. Even the police have sports cars here. Thanks to this, the police react very quickly to crimes. Given the professionalism and technology of the local police, Dubai is the safest place on earth. Let's watch some video clips.
Outside the city there is a huge cemetery of luxury cars of the city. Basically, these are cars that have been in accidents or have been confiscated from their owners for traffic violations. <music> The locals of Dubai have their own entertainment on the weekends and that is driving in the desert in their SUVs. As we know, there is a ban on alcohol in Arab countries, nightclubs and locals have found a replacement for this. Dubai has ideal roads even among desert places. Each city has a tourist place with which the city is associated. Rome is the Colosseum, London is Big Ben. And in Dubai, it's the Burj Khalifa. Dubai is famous for its mega buildings that shape the image of this city. At the beginning of 2023, this is the tallest building in the world at a height of 828 meters. And it is the hallmark of the city. At the top there is an observation deck where you can enjoy the landscape of the city. An incredible number of different construction projects have been implemented in this city and even more will be implemented. A skyscraper is being built one kilometer high. Large residential areas with large landscaping will be built. Dubai City's strategy to make the city livable by 2030. With lots of greenery, parks and squares. Now the city is more suitable for motorists, but the authorities promised to make the city more convenient for pedestrians and cyclists. In this city, many incredible expensive hotels have been built. And you can single out one in which millions of people dream of living and this is Burj Al Arab. Also called simply Sail. The building stands in the sea at a distance of 280 meters from the shore on an artificial island connected to the land by a bridge. At 321M, it was the tallest hotel in the world until the 333M Rose Tower Hotel opened in April 2008. Inside the building, hotel rooms cost from $3,000 per night. The hotel also has a lot of jewelry made of gold and diamonds. There is still much left to be said about other building successes in this industry in Dubai. But for this you need a separate video. You can also highlight Atlantis and the artificial islands of which there are a large number in the city. On the islands, villas are being built for the rich from all over the world. Palm Jumeirah is the smallest and most original of the three. It is an artificial island in the form of a palm tree, consisting of a trunk, 16 leaves and a crescent moon surrounding the island, which is an 11-kilometer breakwater. The size of the island is 5 kilometers by 5 kilometers and its total area is more than 800 football fields. The island is connected to the mainland by a 300-meter bridge, and the crescent is connected to the top of the palm tree by an underwater tunnel. Now let's talk about the expenses of expats in the city. In general, about the prices of salaries and living expenses. It is clear that housing is free for local residents and they do not pay utilities. And they have other expenses. If we are talking about emigrants, then the bulk of the income will go to rent. On average in Dubai, an annual apartment rental costs AED 87,000 per year, that is, about $2,000 per month, according to CBRE. The annual rental of the villa is 260,000 dirhams per year, that's about $6,000 per month. Unlimited internet costs an average of $100 per month, while a package that would include internet and cable TV can top per month $272. All renters also pay a housing fee of 5% of the rental price. Utilities cost an average of $180 per month. Salary depending on qualifications. Laborers coming from Asian countries receive from $800 to $1,500 a month. Qualified foreigners can earn from $3,000 to $50,000 per month. Now let's watch a video survey of how much money people spend in Dubai on purchases. $1,000 is 3,600 dirhams for a note. How much did you spend in shopping today? Uh, roughly around 15k. And how many items did you get? Uh, two. Two eggs. Uh, 9,000 dirhams. And how many items did you get? Two. Two items. 
to 30 to 35,000. 30 to 35,000 yeah. pounds? How many items do you get? Uh, 15 items. 15? Yeah. 15 items. <laughs> Spend four and a half thousand dirhams in Harvey Nichols because there was a sale on. Okay. <laughs> and I'm just going to get one like, really high end item. So okay. I got a, like a denim Dior collab that was 6,800. So I guess today that means about 11,000. 11, 600 so far. 600. How many items did you buy? Just three. Three. Okay. $250. 250 uh, How many items did you get? One. <laughs> One item. Thank you. 37, 38,000 dirhams. Dirhams. 37,000 dirhams. What kind of items did you get? I got about 15 items. 15,000 dirhams. 15,000 dirhams. Yeah. In one day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a shopping assistant, okay. yeah. So how much do people usually spend? A minimum uh, 20,000 dirhams. Wow. And as a maximum, it could be like 70,000 dirhams. Per one day, 70K. Yeah, yeah, for one client. For one person. Yeah, yeah. So what's the maximum that you've ever seen like someone spending in this brand? More than uh, 200,000 dirhams per oh day. The oh. maximum that a customer ever spent in your shop on gold. 250,000 dirhams. 250,000 dirhams. Sometimes 300,000. Yesterday doing like 80,000. 80, yeah. Single customer? One customer. Maximum what I sold a year is half a million in there. Half a million. How much did you spend on gold today? 7,000 dirham. 4,000. I spent around 8,000 dirhams today. I'm, I'm not <laughs> much of a spender. They spend over here like million dirhams. Million dirhams. Million dirhams. Single customer? One customer. One customer, million dirhams. <laughs> they, I have few customers. They don't come here. They spend like half a million. Oh my god. Two million. But they are all private customers. Wow. Uh, 150,000 dirham. 150,000 dirham. Yeah. Uh, some shops sold us 1 million dirham. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. Let's sum up. Dubai is the richest and most expensive city in the world that brings together the most successful people from all over the world. Nothing is impossible in Dubai and people live here like in paradise. Thanks to the smart leaders of the country who made the most reasonable use of the geographical location and their resources. Having built an oasis in the middle of the desert in which everyone wants to live. Perhaps following this example, all countries in the world would live like people in Dubai. But alas, not everything is so simple. We'll talk about other countries in the next videos. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel. There will be a lot of interesting things. Bye everyone.